Welcome to the White Dog Music Channel. Yes, it's that time again. It's time to get to work. This is routine number two. This is the power chord, minor pentatonic and minor arpeggio. Should say minor triad variation. So if like me, you're increasingly concerned with the monopolization of the world of retail, our buyer habits and everything else that goes with it, handing massive amount of power over to one particular company, no name is mentioned, begins with A. Because of this, I use Tommen. We are Tom and Partners. If I'm going to buy new equipment, I buy it from Tom and, and if you're going to buy new equipment, you should probably buy it from Tom and too. Uh, we're also Tutorful Partners. Tutorful are one of the leading companies in the UK for providing online tutoring services. Again, links in description for both of those. As always, this video is brought to you by Elite Bass and Guitar Strings. As mentioned earlier, this is the second routine that I have put together in the beginning guitar routine series. But the fact of the matter is, is that even if you're a more advanced guitarist and you think that this is easy to do then you should probably give it a go because it's not quite as easy as it uh, as it comes across you know playing this thing right the way through without making the mistake isn't as easy as you think it is so we're going to start off with a g power chord again as always in these routines it's four times <laughs> G power chord. If you're not sure about a G power chord or power chords in general, it's fret number three on the E string, that's string number six, fret number five on the A string, that's string number five, and fret number five on the D string, that's fret number four. And you'll notice that I am moving my fingers, that's because I don't want to be sat in stasis in one position. The whole idea of these is that we move our fingers to help us with other things. The next element is the minor pentatonic scale. Just one octave. Three, six, three, five, three, five. And then we're coming back to the five on the A. Again, all this stuff's on the sheet, so it's all there for you. It's on the website. All links and descriptions and stuff like that are all below as well. Okay, the last element is the is the arpeggio, or I should say triad. So a triad is simply a three note chord, or I should say more accurately, it's the three notes of the chord. So what we're playing with the triad is the one minor third and the fifth of the G minor chord. So here it is, three on the low E string, that's string number six, six on the low E string, same thing, five on the A string and five on the D string. So as always we utilize the thing that I love most in the world, the moving metronome. I'm not a big believer in playing at one tempo consistently. I think using moving metronomes can help us to develop technique and does help us to develop technique as we go along. So the metronome starts at 120 BPM. We then move by the time we finished through the whole 12 routine cycle, we then move to 132 BPM. Let's crack on with this routine. Off we go. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you.